Welcome to Bush to Rank, my name is Matt, and today we are ranking candy bars. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, it's gonna be like trick-or-treating at the rich folks' houses. Uh, this topic, candy bars, was voted on by members of the Potluck, which is it's a Southern Things membership program. They were given a choice of like four or five different things, and they overwhelmingly chose candy bars. And for that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you, Potluck members. Hey, lean in here. Let me tell you something. Today, there are 13 candy bars that we are ranking. So go ahead, go get you something to eat. Maybe to drink, sweetie, go and take your seat in front of the TV and watch Matt eat 13 candy bars. Mm, this one is going to get uh, a little wild, and I'll tell you why. Because everyone, and I mean everyone out there, has a candy bar hot take. Or they feel like they have a hot take. Usually they're kind of lukewarm. There are so many candy bars out there, it's like impossible for me to rank all of them and live through the whole thing. I had to really narrow down what is a candy bar. And so now I'm going to take you on a journey of what is a candy bar, parentheses, according to Matt. Hershey's, not a candy bar. This is a chocolate bar. You're thinking, what about the cookies and cream Hershey's? Chocolate bar. What about a crunch bar? Chocolate bar. Mr. Good bar? Chocolate bar. Also, M&M's is a candy. Reese's, not a candy bar. And this is a candy bar. Things like Reese's Outrageous. However, for the purpose of this ranking, we can't include all the candy spin-offs that exist because there are a gazillion of these, especially Reese's, just going nuts, putting their name on everything. And we're just kind of going with the OG candy bars here today. So unfortunately, Reese's Outrageous, this looks so good. Just, I should save it for later. Matt, you can do this. Matt, show a little bit of restraint. Prove that you are the professional that you say you are. Okay, I can do that. Man, that's really good. So, those do not count. Criteria for today, Splash Your Rank, you want that? I don't really know what to tell you. Number one, surprise, it's taste again for the 27th straight time. That's it, I'm not doing two and three. What is there to do with two and three? You got candy bars. We're gonna do this thing? We're gonna go fast. We're gonna go rapid fire here. Let's do this. Competitor number one, Butterfinger bars. Ain't no, ain't nothing Butterfinger about these fingers. Look how. Good luck finding one that ain't broken already. Am I crazy? Or did Butterfinger change the recipe like a year or two ago? And now it does not taste as good. I'm pretty sure they like put that on the packages and said new improved recipe. And a lot of people, myself included, were like, what? Why? No one asked you to do this. Then they messed it up and their wrappers, nothing looks the same anymore. There's like peanuts on here and I don't ever think of peanuts when I think of Butterfinger bars. Butterfinger is best when it's small bites. Bigger bars, I can go ahead and tell you, they're just, to me, they're just not as good. You know, I can't get tired of it by the time I, I get to the end of it. Here's the Butterfinger bar. Oh, so it begins. I start with the one that will stay in my teeth the entire time. I just, I just wish that it, um, wasn't so much. This is this is fine. This is the candy bar for people who don't care that much about their teeth. Another thing Butterfinger is superior at than probably most other candy bars we're gonna have today are the fact that this is like great for like baking stuff. There's like Butterfinger cookies, incredible. Butterfinger cake, amazing. But a Butterfinger thing by itself, I just, it's not for me. But you know what? It's in first place. Figure that out. Competitor numero dos, Baby Ruth. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do that, it was at the gas station. Don't worry, I've had my vaccine. I can't tell you the last time I had one. Oh, wait a minute. Baby Ruth, improved with dry roasted peanuts. I can't tell you. These candy bars have been around for like a century. There's no reason to improve them. They were fine just the way they were. If they've been around for that long, you shouldn't mess with them. Obviously you got it right because they're still for sale and people are still buying them. So stop messing with the recipes of things that were already great.
Also, I've, I, I do not know why these are called Baby Ruth. As a child, I thought they were named after the baseball player, the great Bambino, Babe Ruth. Although the name of the candy bar sounds like the name of a famous baseball player, Babe Ruth, the Curtis Candy Company traditionally claimed that it was named after President Grover Cleveland's daughter, Ruth Cleveland. There. This is for your boy Grover. Um, sounds like a Muppet ran for president. Uh, Baby Ruth, here we go. Okay, peanuts are actually kind of better now. Oh, that was a good idea. Good job, Baby Ruth. Forget everything I said earlier. This is, a, this is an underrated candy bar right here. You gotta look extra hard when you go to the candy bar aisle at the gas station, because they hide these babies. They hide these Baby Ruths. And right now, in this moment, Baby Ruth is in first place. Competitor number three, score. You can't break the idea oh, I broke it. I uh, don't think that I've ever had this, but when, when researching the candy bars for today's Bless Your Rank, this one kept showing up on several different lists as a top selling candy bar. Delicious milk chocolate, I'll be the judge of that, okay? Crisp butter toffee, yeah. I don't know what to expect here. Uh, I have, I'm coming in thinking I'm gonna hate this, so we'll see. But I feel like this is definitely an adult candy bar. Like no one, I don't think you're allowed to buy this if you're under the age of 18. Here we go. Oh God, I lost my tooth. What is that? Okay, so this is um, a crime. I don't, I don't care for this at all. I don't think that this is, I think I've been pranked. I think this is like a, a joke candy bar. <laughs> so score, not a real candy bar, third place. I think I've chipped a tooth. Competitor number four. Y'all better fill out your timesheets, cause it's payday! Ha <laughs> I feel like payday is a top notch meal replacement candy bar. If you don't have time for lunch, you run in the grocery store or gas station, you get a Coke and candy bar. I mean, it's got peanuts and those are good for you, right? Peanuts are technically legumes and that's a vegetable. So this is a vegetable. It's just, it's just, it's just peanut butter covered in peanuts. Payday bars, here we go. This is so good. This is so good. This is the perfect combination of sweet and salty. How do you not love this? A payday bar and a Dr. Pepper is one of, is one of the greatest quick meals you could ever have. I don't get the name. Um, maybe like I'm working for peanuts. Payday. Bruh. It just came to me just now. I just now figured it out. I'm 35 years old, and maybe that's. I just figured out why they call it payday. I don't have time to look it up. Whoever's editing this video, will you right below say whether or not I got that right? And as you can see, validation. I most certainly did get it right. I think payday is the number one candy bar right now, and I don't even think it's close. Like I think payday is running away with this field right here, because this field is not great. This is like the Sunbelt Conference of, of candy bar that I put together here. Competitor number five, Almond Joy. Oh yeah, I feel like I got uh, 15 peanuts in my teeth right now. Almond Joy is truly the candy bar that you either love or you hate. And I am in the camp of love them, because I think coconut is delicious. They come like this. Boom, boom. Just like a little twofer. Uh, it looks like a little, um, well, I know exactly what it looks like, but I probably shouldn't say, because this is uh, just kind of a children's show. We've seen the numbers, we've seen the analytics. I know we're hip with the teens on the YouTubes. What up? Uh, we love y'all, no cap. For sure. Ooh, this chocolate be awesome. Here we go. So good, so good! Why is it called Almond Joy? because it brings me so much joy. Can you not see that in my eyes? They're filled with joy. Look at my eyes, they're filled with almond joy. Here comes the sugar roll. Here's the tough part. Is almond joy better than payday? No. Second place, almond joy. Congratulations, you did it. You still got a long way to go. We ain't even halfway there. Whoa, we're not even halfway there. Whoa, ranking candy bars. Competitor number six. Twix. What else rhymes with Twix? Dicks. Sporting goods, of course. Another great sponsor. Oh, Twix. Can I go ahead and just tell y'all something, Twix? This whole left Twix versus right Twix, 
it was funny like the first time. And now it's just dumb. You've got it on your packages now. Like, oh, you, you bought two left Twix. <laughs> no, I bought Twix, okay? Unite Twix. Stop being left Twix and right Twix. It just be one United States of Twix. I Twix so tis of the sweet chocolate liberty. Here we go. Crunchy cookie, delicious caramel, creamy chocolate cookie bars. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. These are good. I like this. I like it a lot. I want to eat more, but I've really got to pace myself because there's a lot of candy bars over here. I hate the advertising, the left Twix, right Twix, and it almost makes me want to put them in last place to send them a message. Oh my God, look at that. I found it contains absolutely no right Twix. Like it's a giant warning label. I hate that. I hate that. It's, so, it's not funny anymore, Twix. It's not funny. No one's been laughing at this joke for years. You are the you are the 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 dads of the candy company world. You keep telling the same old sad jokes over and over again, and we just give you courtesy chuckles. Well, not anymore, Twix. Your time's up. Come up with some new material. All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold that against you though. It's actually top three right now, and I'm gonna say that they're the second best candy bar currently. Boop. Boop. Competitor number seven, Snickers. Is this a snicker when you do like, <laughs> like a <laughs> Snickers. This is, the dumb, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Okay, so I'm just not realizing that this one's a Snickers and this one's a Satisfies. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You tr you, you trip my brain up and um, I don't like it. It's like you it's like it gave me a, like a mini stroke just now. I think when people think candy bar, I think the, one of the first ones that come to their mind is a Snickers bar because it does so many unique things. I love the little like design on the bottom. I don't know what that is. That's just that's just pleasant. It's like little sound waves. What do you think that sounds like? If I could put like a little record needle on there. What kind of beat do you think that would be? You DJ Andrea. Lo-fi. I don't know what that means. And did these get smaller? I feel like about 10 years ago, Snickers bar shrunk. Also, coincidentally, 10 years ago, I got a lot bigger. So this might be a correlation there. Here we go. It's just chewy, chocolatey, peanut buttery goodness. So, what I can tell, it's chocolate covered, peanut, I think nougat, and then caramel? Oh yeah, wait, oh, no, no, wait, it's right there. Peanuts, caramel, nougat, milk chocolate. Yeah, that's, wait a minute, wait a minute. Peanuts, caramel, nougat. That's a Baby Ruth. That's a Baby Ruth. The Snickers is a Baby Ruth. A Baby Ruth is Snickers, Snickers is Baby Ruth. Baby Snickers. It doesn't change how I feel about Snickers bar, which that is, it's a very good candy bar. I think it is a top tier candy bar, but I do not think it is the best candy bar up here because I think that still belongs to Payday. So I'm gonna have to say Snickers is currently in second place behind Payday. Competitor number eight, whatchamacallits. What, whatchamacallit, I don't know what you call it. What do you call it? Beep, 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 beep. Hello, what? Uh-huh, a whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit. There, that was free, that's your commercial whatchamacallit, because I've never seen a commercial for whatchamacallit, and I just made you one right here for free. I like the, the design on the package, it looks like a, like a comic. It looks like the thing that Batman punches or something, it says wham, and it's like bam, whatchamacallit. What is this? Like, chocolate, peanut flavored crisps and caramel, that's weird. Here we go. Oh, these are pretty good. What you looking there? I, I'm pretty sure I've never had this before today, right now. I did not know what to expect, and I'm kind of blown away. This is really good. The crispy on the inside, and the chocolate coating on it is just the right thickness. This is a solid candy bar. Holy crap. Y'all, whatchamacallit fans have been sleeping on this. They haven't been running around telling people this is the greatest candy bar, but it is. They've been silent, and I know why they've been silent. Because they want to keep all the whatchamacallit bars for themselves, and that ends today. I already took two of them from you, from the CVS in Fultondale, Alabama. That's where it starts, and where's it gonna end? With the whatchamacallit shortage. <laughs> I don't think it's better than a Snickers bar, but it is a dead gum good candy bar. I say right now, in third place, whatchamacallit. That is solid ranking. Competitor number nine, Milky Way. My favorite galaxy. Is that our galaxy? Is that another galaxy? How do stars work? How do, how do galaxies work? How does space work? Neil deGrasse Tyson, if you're watching this, please answer all of these questions immediately. I need to know, how does, how does a star get so, so twinkly? 
Also got uh, more designs on the back. Lo-fi beats to study to. <laughs> Did I get that right? It's the, it's the references for me. Oh yeah, oh that is good. That is a good candy bar. I forgot how chewy it was. Give me 30 minutes. How much caramel was in this? I'm almost there. Okay, well, if you've got a whole day to chew a Milky Way bar, I think it's a pretty solid candy bar choice. It's also maybe the sweetest one up here. Not as good as Payday, not as good as Snickers, not as good as a whatchamacallit, but I, mm, 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 I don't, mm, mm. I think it's better than a Twix. No, no, it's not. Milky Way, fifth place. Let's keep going, competitor number 10. 10. Whoa, a milestone moment. Mounds. It's mounds. It's mounds. <sighs> Why are there so many candy bars? I'm not in the mood for this. Look at this, look at this burnt head. Does this look like the person who's in the mood for this kind of stuff? No. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that's in the mood for some aloe vera right now. The good stuff, cold out of the fridge. Shout out to everybody who puts their aloe vera in the fridge. So I'm realizing now in this moment that I thought that mounds were just like Almond Joy sans the almond. They are not. They're also Almond Joy without the joy. This is dark chocolate and coconut. That's why I've never liked them that much. That's why I've always felt Almond Joy is better. It's not just that the almond makes it better, it's that the chocolate even tastes better. I don't want any more of it. I don't like, I don't like it. I love the coconut. I just hate the dark chocolate. Dark chocolate people will defend dark chocolate to the death. They will not stop talking about how dark chocolate is so good. Y'all, if dark chocolate was that good, then everybody would eat it. But no, it's just y'all. Now it's not a matter of, it's not even close to the front of the pack. It's definitely worse than Baby Ruth, worse than Butterfinger. Ah, oh, you again, I forgot you existed, score. Well, that's not even really edible. So I'm gonna say Mounds is ahead of that because it's not that's not meant for human consumption. So I would say Mounds is in next to last place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Time for number eleven. Keep up the beat. The rest of the episode just like this. I already messed up the beat. Now it's getting better. A little more rapid fire. But but I gotta stop. Stop, Matt. Stop. Focus. 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 Competitor number eleven. Kit Kat bar. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. <laughs> Office fans will get the joke. I have never been like, this has never been my favorite. But then I discovered that Kit Kat does weird flavors randomly during like t special times of the year. Like at Easter, they do a lemon flavored Kit Kat. It is phenomenal. And then randomly they'll do apple pie Kit Kats or key lime pie Kit Kats and they are all scrumptious. So I don't even know why Kit Kat is even bothering making these anymore. All I want are your lemon Kit Kats. Do them, year round. See what happens. I'll eat all of them, spoiler alert. So let me just go ahead and say this. The thing is open. I already instinctively snapped it in half because there are two ways to eat a Kit Kat bar, okay? There's the right way in which I snap them and then eat them one piece at a time. Or I can do it like this, where I get two or more still together and bite into them like so. And if you do it like that, you're not a human being. You're a monster. Don't do that. Eat them like this. Kit Kat, a solid good candy bar. Four candy bars are one. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's better than Twix, but I don't know that it's better than whatchamacallit. I think Kit Kat is in fourth place currently. And I feel very good about that. Very good about that. Competitor number 12, Heath. Matt, do something funny with the Heath bar. Heath, milk chocolate, English toffee bar. Score, delicious milk chocolate, crisp butter toffee, same thing, more adjectives. We're gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna be real quick. I'm gonna, I, all right, here we go. Uh, Matt, how's this gonna go? Mm, looking into the future, you're gonna unwrap it, you're gonna take a bite, you're gonna go, oh, tastes just like score. You're gonna say, tied for last, who you look, and then move on to the last one. Mm, probably have a YouTube embedded ad somewhere in there. Whoa, what happened? I blacked out. Let's see what happens. <sighs> okay, that's actually a little bit better than the score bar. That crunch is not so terrible. What did I do with that score bar? That was like three hours ago. Hold on. It's got the same design in the front. 
Same textured pattern on the back. What? We, we found you out. Back, exactly the same. Inside, slightly different there. Um, it's like orange color in the score bar. Heath is like white or like a really light brown. A little analogy for the youth. It's like you both have same sun signs. Chocolate sun and rising. But different moon signs. Is that what that was? Oh my God, I get to figure out. I'm such an aquarium. <laughs> you know me, I'm a saggy Taurus. <laughs> a Heath bar to me, I don't love it, but I also I don't hate it. You know, it's just kind of like Mumford and Sons since their first album. You know, what are they up to? I don't know. I quit listening after Little Line Man. Here, Heath bar, you are the Mumford and Sons of candy bars. I feel like you should go right here, near the near the back of the pack. Predator number thirteen is. <laughs> Three Musketeers. <coughs> okay, here's the thing. This is our last one. And I say this for last for a reason. Because like I said at the very beginning of the episode, callback, everyone has a candy bar hot take. I think that Three Musketeers is a dead gum goo candy bar. And I think it is served best when it is just slightly warm. I, I, I love uh, I love these. I love Three Musketeers. I'm just gonna say it, and I know it gets a lot of hate. People think that they're trash candy bars, and I uh, disagree. I think this is a very good top tier candy bar, and they love me back because look at there on the package they wrote "You're one of a kind." Aww. Pretty little uh, SoundCloud design right here. You can scan this, and it will pull up a song. What's your camera to Spotify code? I think it worked. Anyway, that happened. So here's the thing though. Is it the best candy bar? I'm gonna go and tell you right now that it is most certainly a top three candy bar, which means whatchamacallit is now out. Everybody out here, thanks for playing, sorry. It's really gonna come down to Payday and Snickers and Three Musketeers. But at the end of the day, is it the best? And I think the answer to that is no, Payday is the best. Go crazy, go crazy, go candy bar crazy. This is what happens to your body when you eat 13 candy bars in one city. Am I still alive? Yeah, but barely. In conclusion, comma, space, uh, what we've learned today is that there's a, a lot of candy bars, even if you narrow them all down and you try to eat them in one sitting and rank them, you're gonna have a, you're gonna crash multiple times. But you know what? Everybody has a different candy bar and that's what makes us great. We all love chocolate. Or, or like chocolate didn't even win. Did, I love the one thing that didn't have chocolate win. I did. That's the thing I did. That was a choice. I did that. I'm happy, I'm fine with it. I can live with that. Hey y'all, thanks for watching this episode of Bless Your Rank. I hope you enjoyed it because I have had a blast. Um, so what I'm doing now is just take candy bars, don't tell anybody. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't smash it. A lot of people tell you to smash the button and that's just rude. Give it a gentle push for a like. Also, uh, subscribe to our channel so you can see a lot more of these videos. And if you really, really, really like this video, consider joining the Potluck. It's a Southern Things membership program where people just like you get to decide what I'll be ranking on Bless Your Rank. Like this episode, the Potluck members decided for me to rank candy bars. And they think they're going to get these when they were done, but they're not. <laughs> I'm keeping them for myself. So go check that out. Go join the Potluck at SouthernThing.com. And then maybe you can decide what I'll be ranking and possibly stealing from the studio next. Bye. <laughs> so y'all can keep that trash. I think nobody's gonna notice. <laughs>